The state has rested its case in the trial against two former Vanderbilt University football players accused of raping a co-ed in a dorm room. After the prosecution rested, the defense began calling witnesses to the stand once again. And earlier today, the alleged victim testified that she has no recollection of being sexually assaulted. The raw details that have emerged in this case, counselors believe, have led to an increased number of people calling the sexual assault crisis hotline. Four times as many calls came to the center's main office this weekend alone for new clients seeking counseling. New at 630, News Channel 5's Andrea Klein-Thomas takes a closer look at the trial's effect on survivors of sexual assault. Here at the Sexual Assault Center, we do have it streaming live in one of our conference rooms. At the Sexual Assault Center, anyone that's a responder to a crime scene certainly is impacted by what they're hearing and what they're seeing. The Vanderbilt rape trial is always on. We have a lot of community members calling, clients are bringing this up. Um, the impact is certainly far reaching. He was introducing himself, telling us that he had been out to the tin roof and he had this young lady in the car and she's passed out. The allegations made in the case are raw. The evidence is disturbing. There's a close up of her private areas. Um, her skirt's pulled up above her waist. She's laying there, not moving at all. And it's all unfolding publicly. To most survivors that I've worked with recently, it feels very exposing and humiliating and triggering. Triggers that range from their heart racing to flashbacks. And a lot of them say, I didn't really know it was rape. It was somebody that I knew. 20 to 25 percent of college women and 15 percent of college men are victims of sexual assault during their time in school, according to the National Sexual Violence Resource Center. Most never report it. We want survivors to know that we hear them and that we support them and that we are helping them get their voice back. With help, healing is possible. And I love that she says, I'm strong, healing takes time. It's up to a jury to figure out what happened on that summer night at Vanderbilt University in 2013. So it's much less about us knowing the details and us taking a stand against sexual violence. If anything, it's a problem the trial is causing so many more people to talk about. The message needs to be that if consent hasn't been given, it's, it's sexual violence, it's rape. The Sexual Assault Center has a number of resources from counseling to a 24 hour crisis and support hotline. That number is 1-800-879-1999. We'll also put more resources on our website at newschannel5.com. I'm Andrea Klein-Thomas, News Channel 5 HD.